find out whether one Hebrew word is translated by more than one English word, or whether more than one English word represents the same Hebrew word, is fairly straightforward if you go to one of the online Bibles. One I like is Step Bible. S-T-E-P-E-I-B-L-E dot O-R-G. Step Bibles provided by Tyndale House in Cambridge. The passage I'm interested in isn't Genesis 1, but Genesis 22, especially verse 7. And the version most of my students are using is the NIV, not the ESV. It looks something like this. And here we have several words or phrases in English. Speak up, say, reply, and say again. All of which might be the same Hebrew word, or they might be different words as they are in English. How do we know? Well, in the Step Bible, in the NIV, we can't tell because it hasn't been coded to the Hebrew. So we'll go back to one of the versions it has, like the ESV or the KJV. They've been coded to the Hebrew, so when I put the mouse over said, not only do I get a pop-up which shows me roughly what the verb amar means, to say, to speak, or to utter. It's often translated as to say, to answer, or to say in one's heart or to think and so on. But it shows us also that here in this verse, the verb amar occurs three times, as say to his father Abraham, and then Abraham's reply, and he said, and then uh, Isaac's reply to Abraham's reply. Each of those different translations in the NIV represent the same Hebrew word, amar. It really is as simple as that, to get at it, and no knowledge of Hebrew is needed.